Now a few things about these two groups, people of the book. وَقَادَتِ الْيَهُودُ عُزَيْرُ لِبْنُ اللَّهِ So said the Jews that Uzair, Ezra, is son of Allah. وَقَادَتِ النَّسَارَ الْمَسِيحُ بْنُ اللَّهِ And the Christians said, Masih, Jesus, is the son of Allah. ذَلِكَ قَوْلْهُمْ بِأَفْوَاهِهِمْ This is their saying, the words that they are uttering with their mouths. These words have no meaning, no real basis. يُزَاهِئُونَ قَوْلَ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا مِنْ قَبْلِ They are imitating the saying of those who were before them from amongst the kuffar. I told you. But you know, let me mention here. Trinity among Christianity came from Egypt. The old ancient Egyptian trinity was God the Father, Horus as son of God, Isis as the God Mother. So the Christians imitated them. God the Father, Jesus the Son of God, and Mary the God Mother. That was the real trinity. They changed it later on. Excluded Mary, Salamun Aleha, and included the Ghost, the Holy Ghost. But the original Trinity was the same. And what happened to the Jews? When they remained in captivity in Iraq, for around about 100 years, captivity, Nebuchadnezzar, he invaded Jerusalem, and you know he killed about 600,000. And another 600,000, he took captives and took them to Babylonia. During that time in Iraq, the religion of Mithraism, that was popular. And here again, you know, the concept of son of God is present in Mithraism. So imitated, they imitated Mithraism. They got this, you know, infection from the Iraqi people during their time of captivity. The Christians took it. From the Egyptians. Yuzaheuna Kalan Nazira Kafarum in Kabul. They are just imitating the, the, the creed of those who were there from amongst the Kuffar. And I told you the same thing was done by Ismailis in India. When they started preaching in India, Ismailis, they told the Hindus, Well, you believe in nine arc, in, incarnations of God. Just add a tenth one. Ali is the tenth incarnation. It's very easy. One believes in nine. What's the difficulty in, in uh, believing in the tenth? Dasham Avatar. Dasham Avatar. He is the tenth incarnation. And just as Paul had abrogated the law, because it was difficult. To say prayer, to pay zakah, oh, it's a hard task. No, 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 Sharia is not for you. The same thing that Paul did, abrogated Sharia. And that is why, you know, Christianity then spread like anything. You only change your creed and you become a Christian. You only believe in Jesus and all your sins, they are condoned. So it's the, it's the best bargain. Not to do anything. In the same way, the Ismailis, they abrogated Sharia. There is no Sharia for the Ismailis over there. Not for all. <coughs> the Ismailis who, who dwell in the northern regions of Pakistan, <coughs> they have Sharia. They, have the, they are the original Ismailis who came from Iran very long ago. And Multan was one of the biggest centers of them. And Mahmud Ghaznavi invaded Multan many times only to finish these, you know, Batanis who had a very strong hold in Multan. And then they fled to the mountainous regions and they took refuge over there. That is why they are found in Chitra, they are found in Gilgit, they are found in Hunza. These, you know, areas were not easily approachable on these days. They went there and they took refuge over there. But these people have Sharia with them. They have mosques. Not the, these people who were converted in Gujarat area and Bombay area and this area, you know. They were converted, they were given the, the Rishwa, you know, the bribery that for you there is no Sharia. 
you come and believe and you believe in only that Ali is the 10th incarnation of God. You become an Ismaili, a Muslim Ismaili Muslim. So that is the example among the, among the so-called Muslims. They have taken their rabbis and their monks as gods besides Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Well, Masih ibn Maryam, and they have taken Masih to be a god. They were not ordained but to worship only one ilah. La ilaha illallah. There is no God except Him. Subhanahu amma yushrikun. And He is glorified from all that they are associating with Him. Now what does it mean? Ittakhadu ahbarahu wa rubanahu arbabu min dunillah. A doubt might have come to your minds. They don't worship them. And the same doubt was presented by Adi ibn Hatim radiyallahu ta'ala anhu. The son of the famous, you know, philanthropist, Hatim, Hatim Iqai. His son was a Christian, Adi. When he embraced Islam, once he said to the Prophet, I couldn't understand. Quran says, we, I was a Christian. And we never took them as our God. We never worshipped them. Neither the rabbis nor the monks. The Prophet said, didn't you accept them as the authority in law? Whatever they said is halal, you accepted halal. Whatever they said haram, you accepted haram. Oh, yes, this we were doing. This is actually the divine right that you have given them. Making law is the divine right. Tahleel o tahreem. Declaring to something to be permissible and something to be forbidden. This is divine prerogative. If you have assigned to somebody else, you have made him God. If you have taken it to upon your own self, the popular sovereignty, we can decide. You are claiming to be God. Because this is the exclusive right of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You must understand this ayah. Ittakhadu ahbarahum wa ruhbanahum arbaabam in dunillahi wal masih abna maryam wa ma'umiru illa le ya'budu ilaha wahida. La ilaha illahu subhanahu wa ma'yushlikun.